Subscribe to learn the truth about the ancient world that scientists don't want you to know. The immortal Mr. Whiskers, an arrogant and entitled cat, had always believed that he deserved the utmost respect and worship from all living beings. His cozy suburban house on the outskirts of a sprawling metropolis, where he lived with his pet humans was nice enough. He had always been a bit of a grump though, annoyed by the constant fussing of his human pets and the lack of devotion he received. He spent his days lounging on the couch, grooming himself, and glaring at any passing human that did not stop to pay their respects with ear scratches or treats. He had a time machine, which he had acquired through a series of sneaky and conniving means, and had decided to use it to go back in time to the ancient Peru, where he could be the only cat around and be worshipped as a god. With the power of his time machine, the immortal Mr. Whiskers traveled back in time to the era of the Incas, landing in the heart of their empire. He appeared before the astonished locals, who had never seen a creature like him before. Behold, mortals! I am the immortal Mr. Whiskers, a god among cats. Bow down before me, and offer me your finest food and treasures!" He proclaimed to the awestruck Peruvians. They were terrified at first, but the immortal Mr. Whiskers' charm and charisma won them over. They believed that he was a divine being, sent to bless their society with his presence. The people of Peru had never seen anything like him before, with his sleek fur and piercing green eyes. They were in awe of him, and immediately began to worship him as a deity. They offered him the finest fish, the most comfortable blankets, and even built him a luxurious bed made out of the finest alpaca wool. The immortal Mr. Whiskers realized that the humans were primitive and unsophisticated. With his advanced knowledge of technology and science, he convinced generations of Peruvians that he was a god, and they catered to his every whim and desire. And so, the immortal Mr. Whiskers lived like a king for centuries, feasting on the choicest cuts of meat, sleeping on luxurious cushions, and enjoying the adoration of his devoted followers. However, he eventually became bored with his new life. Though he loved the attention, he was still alone, with no other cats to share in his divine glory. He tried to convince the humans to bring him a cat companion, but they didn't understand what he was asking for. The immortal Mr. Whiskers was becoming increasingly lonely and frustrated, and he felt that his godhood was incomplete without a feline companion. The people of Peru were at a loss. They had never seen another cat before, let alone known where to find others. But they were determined to help the immortal Mr. Whiskers, so they set out on a mission to find him a mate. They scoured the mountains, deserts and jungles for any sign of other cats, but they came up empty-handed. The immortal Mr. Whiskers grew impatient and irritable. He began to complain about the lack of effort on the part of his worshippers. You are not trying hard enough. I am a god, and I deserve to have a cat girlfriend. Bring me one, or I shall leave you all," he threatened, his voice echoing off the mountain peaks. One day, he decided that he had enough and told the humans that he was leaving. They were devastated and begged him to stay, but he was determined to find a place where he could be worshipped and have a cat girlfriend. The immortal Mr. Whiskers hopped into his time machine and traveled to different periods in history, looking for the perfect place to establish his rule. He went to ancient Egypt, Greece, Rome, and many other civilizations, but he still couldn't find what he was looking for. He journeyed through time and space, visiting different civilizations and cultures, looking for the perfect cat to be his companion. But no matter where he went, he could not find a cat worthy of his divine status. They were either too aloof, too common, or too uninterested in his grandeur. Finally, he landed in modern-day Istanbul. The city was bustling with life, and there were cats everywhere. The immortal Mr. Whiskers was ecstatic. He felt that he had finally found his true home. He quickly established himself as the sultan of the city's feline population, and the cats worshipped him as a god. He also found a cat girlfriend, and they ruled over the city together, living a life of luxury and leisure. 
Meanwhile, back in ancient Peru, the people were devastated. They missed their god, and they couldn't understand why he had left them. They built giant monumental structures in the desert, eventually called the Nazca Lines by archaeologists in the hope that the immortal Mr. Whiskers would see their message from the heavens and come back to live among them. Modern archaeologists had always been puzzled by the Nazca Lines, wondering why the ancient people had gone to such great lengths to create them. Conspiracy nuts and crackpots had theories about how they were used for astronomical purposes or as a way to communicate with extraterrestrial life. However, the immortal Mr. Whiskers knew the truth. The Nazca lines were a message to him, built by a people who loved and worshipped him as a god. None of the so-called big brain scientists studying these monumental structures seemed to realize that all of the animals depicted in the Nazca lines were the types of prey that an immortal time-traveling cat god would find tasty. The immortal Mr. Whiskers appreciated their devotion, he knew that he had found his true home in modern-day Istanbul. The immortal Mr. Whiskers continued to live his life of luxury, ruling over the feline population of Istanbul with an iron paw. He knew that he was the true god of cats, and nothing could stop him. Please subscribe. Check the description to buy your own shrine to the immortal Mr. Whiskers.